People impacted by the Border 32 fire can finally go back home tonight as all evacuation orders and road closures have been lifted. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department says fire crews are gaining control of the fire there. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes has been down near the border covering the story for us the past couple of days. She joins us now live from the incident command post off Highway 94 near Humwool. Kirsten, such great news to see the progress firefighters have made today. Yeah, and a lot of progress has been made. I'm here at the incident command post. I'm going to I'm gonna let you take a look behind me and get a good look at the area, see what's going on. This is the staging area for fire and other emergency crews to come and take a break and get some rest. We have crews helping out from as far away as Colorado that I've seen. Now, Cal Fire says they made a lot of progress on that fire, and we were able to see that progress firsthand today. Yesterday when we were out here, I saw smoke plumes in the air. I saw a little bit of fire today. I saw clear skies, but I did see a lot of charred earth below. Things have been looking a lot better these last 24 hours. Um, we know that that first night through the night, the fire was pushing hard towards Takati, pushing hard towards Brochero. We've made a lot of progress since then, gotten some good containment line in. Thomas Shoots with Cal Fire says they've made good ground on the Border 32 fire, but they're not done yet. We still have to do our job. We can't walk away from it until everything's done. So we're going aggressive because we don't want this fire to spread, and we ultimately want to get folks back in their homes. All evacuation orders and road closures connected to the fire were lifted just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Before people were able to move back in, we went to the Barrett Mobile Home and RV Park where Apollonio handles maintenance and says he was one of the first to spot the fire. When I, when I looked that way, I started looking a little bit of, of smoke. So I go and take a look. I say, well, this looks like it's going to be a fire. Completely dead. No, no signal at all. Yeah. So I cannot communicate with anybody. And I start doing my, my horn straight down and everybody start coming out and I start giving the notice to them. They start packing out and by the fire was here, most of the people they was gone. For crews working on the fire, their biggest obstacle they say was the rough terrain. But for the people who live in this area, some of them lost everything. It was some rugged hikes just to get to the fire's edge, just because these areas are so remote. Um, used to helicopters start flying crews up. Apollonio says they're lucky their community was saved, but his heart breaks for his smallest neighbors. Yesterday in the afternoon, it was deers going real sad. They was walking one behind the other, and they don't have nothing to eat. I'm sad because I grew up in, in hills. And I'm sad because I can see those animals, they are, they are suffering a lot for food. The latest report says containment is at 20%, but firefighters we talked to today say that they are expecting that containment level to rise pretty quickly. Three firefighters were hurt. They are expected to be okay. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Great coverage out there, Kirsten. Thank you.